So I'm going to skip the first three columns and then I'll just go over the last three columns quickly. So we have four distance measure, which have a number of advantages. Um, triangle inequality. So if you see that there is two, this uh, we have three distributions and uh, we have, let's say, distribution A has certain distance to distribution B and then distribution B a certain distance to distribution C, then you know that the, uh, the distance between distribution A and C is not bigger than the sum of distances between A and B and B and C. This is not the case for uh, KS and chi-squared um, tests, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And then when it comes to recommended use, jensen shannon is the versatile uh, measure that basically works reasonably well with, um, with almost uh, all kinds of distributions and all kinds of drifts, and it's our default uh, in the library. Uh, Hellinger distance is very similar to Jensen Shannon. Um, it works best with medium strings, which is really good at quantifying the magnitude there in a way that's understandable for humans, and basically works well with our very well with our intuition. Both of those break or don't differentiate. Uh, between very strong and extreme drifts when there is not a lot of overlap between uh, between the distributions. Wasserstein distance has a beautiful um, physical interpretation, which is work uh, as basically a shift measure. And if that's relevant for your use case, you should definitely use the Wasserstein distance. Uh, unfortunately, it's sensitive to outliers because of its definition. And infinity works well with features with a lot of categories but it's sensitive to changes in one category. And then our two statistical tests, um, the recommended use is that if for some reason you care about statistical significance, you should use them. Otherwise you probably shouldn't because of false positives. If you use um, the p-value as a way to indicate uh, significance or positive prediction. Um, KS test is also insensitive to changes in tails because again, it was the maximum of the the difference between CDS and this maximum is rarely happening in the tails, almost never. And chi-squared has a lot of drawbacks. Uh, one of them with the default implementation is that it is actually just a function of sample size, which makes interpretation quite hard. And it goes all the way to infinity, which makes the interpretation even harder. 